This is your daily devotion for Friday, December 11th from the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene. Our scripture verse today comes from the book of Acts, chapter 6, verses 1 through 8. Here's the word of the Lord. In those days, when the number of disciples was increasing, the Hellenistic Jews among them complained against the Hebratic Jews because their widows were being overlooked in the daily distribution of food. So the twelve gathered all the disciples together and said, It would not be right for us to neglect the ministry of the word of God in order to wait on tables. Brothers and sisters, choose seven men from among you who are known to be full of the Spirit and wisdom. We will turn this responsibility over to them and will give our attention to prayer and the ministry of the word. This proposal pleased the whole group. They chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit. Also, Philip, Prochorus, Nicander, Timon, Parmenius, and Nicholas from Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles who prayed and laid their hands on them. So the word of God spread. The number of disciples in Jerusalem increased rapidly and a large number of priests became obedient to the faith. Now Stephen, a man full of God's grace and power, performed great wonders and signs among the people. And this is the word of the Lord. The article written by Rachel Campbell is titled, The Witness of a Servant. And the focus verse is verse 8. Now Stephen, a man full of God's grace and power, performed great wonders and signs among the people. Though this passage primarily focuses on Stephen, the servant and eventual martyr of the early church, within the verses we find the story of a people who recognize the value of serving the voiceless in their community. The early church understood the importance of leadership, of course, and the apostles knew that their unique leadership was needed for the people of God to thrive. Leaders were also needed to take charge in the embodiment of Christ's love through serving those who needed aid the most. The leaders selected to oversee the distribution of food were selected specifically because of their relationship with God through the Holy Spirit and their wisdom. They had to be skilled for the task at hand, but more importantly, their service had to be grounded in their love for Jesus. Stephen's well-known testimony and eventual martyrdom clearly demonstrated that those who were selected to serve were powerfully committed to the kingdom. They embodied the love of Christ through their service to others. May we, filled with the Holy Spirit and gifted with Christ's wisdom, do the same. The hymn is, O Master, Let Me Walk With Thee by Washington Gladden. O Master, let me walk with thee in lonely paths of service free. And from Mark chapter 9, verse 35, we read, Setting down, Jesus called the twelve and said, Anyone who wants to be first must be the very last and the servant of all. And this is your daily devotion for Friday, December the 11th. Have a wonderful day.